These socks cost me $40 a pair. I know that, Mr. Ewing. Well, I mean, they've got a run in them. Is that any way for you to take care of my things? I'm very sorry, Mr. Ewing. Sorry doesn't feed the bulldog. Get me another pair. You scum. You put Mom and Daddy into the ground and you're living here in this Playboy mansion. How do you get all this money anyway? He's a lawyer, of course. But not just a lawyer. A Beverly Hills lawyer. Oh, how do you ever get to be a lawyer? Well, he graduated from UT, passed the Texas bar, had a good business going when Jock left him Ewing Oil. Good. Good lawyer. Mr. Kingdom and all. Lousy oil man. Yes. Mrs. Kingdom is here. Ah, send her in. <sighs> Alice, my dear, come in. Oh, Gary, you've got to do something. The man is a beast. Oh, what's he done now? He's cut off my credit. All the shops. I've never been so humiliated. Well, we'll make him pay. You can be sure of that. <laughs> he hasn't uh, been late with the interim support money. No. How am I supposed to get by without being able to keep my wardrobe up? Well, we'll get more. Don't you worry, and we're going to be in court soon. I wish she'd been nicer to you. Oh, thank God I have you by my side. You make me feel so safe. Oh. I wish you were there with me to come for me at night. It gets so lonely. Well, Alice. He never married, you know. Without you to drive him off South Fork, he never met Belleen, never had Lucy. He's just a poor, happy bachelor. Where the hell is the justice in that? <laughs> yes? Mr. Kingdom and Miss Lawrence are here. Good, send them in. Now, don't say a word. Don't get in an argument and let me do all the talking. I can't stand that witch he has for an attorney. He's probably making it with her. Just let me do all the talking. All right. Ms. Lawrence. Mr. Ewing. Mr. Kingdom. Shall we get right to it? Uh, yes, why don't we? I'm no, like... I'd like to first say something about Mrs. Kingdom's behavior. Her behavior? Mm. You piker, you. How could you do that to me? Do what? Emilio's yesterday. I was trying on a new outfit, and you cut off my credit. If you buy any more clothes, you have to turn into twins to wear them all. You cheap, rotten, cheap, me. Yes, you. Before you married me, the only four words you knew were attention, Kmart shoppers. That's it. I don't need this. I'm going to kill you right here. I will never have you. Well, it looks like he earns his money. I'll say that. It does get better. I think we'll give up our demand for the Palm Springs house. But I'm gonna want something in return. She can keep the Palm Springs house if she drops the alimony to 10,000 a month. Or a flat settlement of two million. Plus the Mercedes, plus the New York apartment. In return, she relinquishes all claim to the Bel Air house, the Malibu house, and the place in Aspen. I think we can live with that. Then it's done. And done again. I'll see you about again. Well, why don't we? <laughs> well, well, you see, you ain't that's for sure. You're gonna cut a deal. That's the best place for it. You're just gonna sit there and watch? You got a better idea? Yeah. Probably catch some TV. You're kidding. Au contraire. Something on I think even you'll like. <laughs>